Dang, y'all. See what happens when you bring your camera with you 24-7. You always catch good stuff on cam. This dude done locked himself out of his car and had to call a locksmith. God! I've had that happen at least two or three times. good you guys this is Jay it is it feels like Saturday but I know yesterday was Saturday which was a fun day you guys should go check that video out it's the last thing I posted if you're new here make sure you subscribe Woo! dirty dishes why are you recording that today is going to be a casual day another day in the life I don't know if I'm gonna name it that though I already cleaned myself up, cleaned my place up somewhat, except for those box packages right there. Who doesn't like getting stuff in the mail? I'm not one of those people. Today, I am going to be running a Rons. And I'm going to be taking you guys with me. Let's see, today we've got to, I gotta replace my curtains, cause I've had, well not my curtains, I don't even have curtains, I got slides. See, I got slides. What? You thought I was talking about those? Yeah, I was talking about those at first, but I was just messing with you by talking about my slides. But, I need some new bathroom, um... I need more of these things right here. I don't know what you call it. I guess the bathroom curtains, whatever you call them. I gotta change those out. I've had them a little too long. I'm probably gonna keep the outer design, but for those of you who don't live on your own, the inward curtain sometimes can get dirty over time, so it's time to replace that. Inward lining, inward lining. Then I gotta go film a walk with me video at this new park I found beside these million dollar houses that I had no idea were right around the street from my place. And I know I had more to do, but I'm just gonna fill in the gaps along the way. You'll, you, you'll see. Let's get it, let's get it. I'm always afraid to get too close to these guys on the wall right here. Those are the jumpy ones. I feel like they're gonna jump on me if I don't move along quickly, so that's what I will do. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I noticed my camera doesn't have that much power and I'm gonna be having my camera with me all day, so I gotta go get my charger. Yo, I wanted to put on some shades, but I can't find my shades. So we're gonna have to go normal and just, oh shoot. Drop my phone. I have to go as myself. Face the blinding sun. How y'all like my necklace? I'm just messing. Cue music. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply. Dang, y'all. See what happens when you bring your camera with you 24-7. You always catch good stuff on cam. This dude done locked himself out of his car and had to call a locksmith. God! I've had that happen at least two or three times. Recording? Yes, it is recording. So as you guys can see, everything was closed. I decided to stop by the mall to see if I could get a shirt, but there was a whole bunch of lines everywhere. They were only letting a couple people in at a time, and I don't feel like waiting. So, onward to Target. To grab this inner curtain liner thingy, whatever we call it. Here's another picture of everything being closed. I don't look juicy. I look really juicy. My AC. My AC in my car is not really working too well, so honestly, me going to the mall was just me kind of. Put this windows down. Me going to the mall was really just me doing like a cool down walk so I wouldn't be so sweaty. But it's a pretty good day so far. Pretty good day. The mall is open to the public, but majority of the stores. Oh, majority of the stores are closed. Oh, shoot. Somebody about to roll up on me. You're not supposed to go through that way anyway. Yeah, majority of the stores are closed. And the ones, the few that are open, only let a select number of people go in. Except for Manhattan. Manhattan doesn't care. 
I'm not gonna bore y'all with the dang I sound so foamy when I have these in I'm not gonna bore y'all with a walk through Target for a one liner curtain but um I'm gonna talk about the future for a second one thing I really look forward to every single day is traveling more and providing with you you know providing y'all with like more fire content you know because I notice like at first nobody's gonna want to make videos with you nobody's gonna want to support well some, you know some people support but you, you guys know who you are most people aren't gonna want to support or help you with your videos or anything like that until you actually start accumulating somewhat of a big following or influence or you start to bear fruit and when when you hear somebody say bear fruit you know fruit on the tree that means like yo his life is starting you know this person's life is starting to speak for itself instead of you saying hey if you do this with me or if you help me do this this is going to happen people start like jumping on or helping out more when they actually see it like coming into fruition so like traveling more, going on cruises, going to different states, countries. I want to get all that on film for you guys because like YouTube for me is fun. But it's also nice to be like a positive influence for people. You know, be motivation because, you know, be a walking, you can do it. That's the way I describe it because I'm from a small town of Fountain Inn. And, you know, not too many people, you know, do very big things coming from like a a town that most people hasn't even heard of so you know things are getting better every year taking that one baby step at a time um for those of you guys that are watching this whether you're 40 50 30 20 mid late 20s it doesn't matter like if you think it's too late it's not too late like you know like every, our fam is getting stronger every single day and you know with every one person Yo, my camera overheated, so I don't know where it stopped at before. But I just want y'all to know that you motivate me. And no matter where you are in life, it's not too late. That's what I that's all I wanted to say. For you guys, let me tell y'all something that lets y'all know that I'm used to uh, shopping at Ross or the flea market and stuff like that. I was kind of shocked when I only bought two, I only bought three t-shirts, right? from Ross. I bought three t-shirts. Came out to $60. I was like, ho! Oh! I said, $60? I only got three t-shirts at a Target. <laughs> yeah, y'all know I'm used to Ross and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a... My normal's upgrading as the years go by. So like, I'll probably look back on this video a year or two from now and be like, ah, that's, that ain't nothing. You know, there's some places where you can buy a shirt for $60 by itself. But I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm comfortable enough to pay 60 to $100 for one t-shirt just yet. I'm not, I'm, I'm in a way better place than I was the past few years. But honestly, I am not, I'm not there quite yet, but it's coming, it's coming. And as you guys can see, I have changed my shirt. Let me take these foam, it sounds so foamy when I have these in. I've changed my shirt. I bought myself some clothes, like I said in the last clip before. Put one of them on, cause seeing what a new white t-shirt looks like compared to an old dingy white t-shirt makes you realize that I'm wearing a dingy, a pretty dingy shirt right now. That's what motivated me to buy some more t-shirts because when I was walking through Target, I was like, you know, I might as well like get some new shirts, even though I was only there for like a shower curtain, a water resistant shower curtain. But I'm here at Legacy Park. It's looking pretty swole today. A lot of people here. Um, these are mil some of these are like three hundred thousand to a million dollar houses, so there's a lot of pretty nice, cleaned up, beautiful looking people walking around here. By people, I mean ladies. And um, yeah, I'm about to do this walk with me video. I don't I don't think I see too many walk with me videos on YouTube. This is something I want to start. That's new. If it's not a new thing, put their link down in the description below so I can so I can 
watch what what other people do not that I'm gonna get any ideas from them but it's just cool to see people doing similar content sometimes but yeah but yeah it's a pretty good day so far okay I thought I was about to cop some Taco Bell or some Firehouse but then I remembered this lady that I saw yesterday told me that Publix reopened until 9 starting today. So guess what? I'm about to go cop me some chicken salad. There comes on my face. I just had a sandwich. I think there comes on my face. Well, you guys, that concludes my errand day. Don't really know how long this video ended up being, but it'll be okay. I'm home now. I took my sleep gummies. About to edit these videos and call it a day. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you're new or been here, make sure you like the video and share it. I'll see you guys later. I'll holla at you. Peace.